Donald Trump and Chuck Schumer trading jabs on Israel and the support of Jewish voters. After the Senate Majority Leader called for a new election in Israel last week, former President Trump accused Schumer of caving to pressure from pro-Palestinian protesters. Speaking on a podcast Monday, Trump said Jewish people who vote Democrat hate Israel and their religion and, quote, should be ashamed of themselves. Schumer on Tuesday firing back with a sharp rebuke. The former president's comments were utterly disgusting. To say you hate Israel or your religion because you have one political view over the other is sick, it's hateful. It is unadulterated anti-Semitism. Trump casting his ballot in Florida was quick to respond. I think that the Democrats have been very, very opposed to Jewish people, that's true, and to Israel. All you have to do is look at Senator Schumer. What he did with Israel is a disgrace, and I think Israel will probably not forget it very soon. In 2021, the Pew Research Center reported 7 in 10 Jewish adults lean toward the Democratic Party. Trump claims that's changed. We're doing very well with the Jewish vote, as you can see in the polls. Nobody who breaks bread with anti-Semites like Nick Fuentes and who called white supremacists in Charlottesville very good people, or who, who, as was recently reported, said disgustingly that Hitler did some good things, has any right, any right, to lecture Jewish Americans. The back and forth comes as the White House plans a meeting with Israeli officials about the next steps in the war in Gaza. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.